Welcome back. I'm now joined by Trooper Glenn Hunter with Colorado State Patrol. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So Coloradans Against Auto Theft is a pretty big movement here in Colorado to stop auto theft. Um, but what can people do to keep their vehicles safe during the winter months? So there's several things, but some of the easiest things is lock your car. Yeah. Roll your windows up and don't leave your car running while it's unattended. Mm. And it's, it's a simple thing that if you have a car that's unlocked, it's an easy grab right. for a suspect or a cr criminal to grab you. Well, and, and keeping, keeping <coughs> some of your stuff put away, right? And not out for people to see is super important. Yes, so when you're shopping, put your stuff in the trunk and mm -hmm. lock your trunk or cover it up with a blanket or a coat somewhere so someone doesn't see it through the win windows and actually understand that it's not an easy grab for them to do and they know what's inside your car already before entering it. Right, and then even having a hatchback like this, it can be hard to hide stuff in the trunk. But um, one thing, you, I mean, having a coat, like you said, or a blanket in your trunk would be a really good idea. Um, so what about people who, I, I've never done this, but people who turn their car on and leave it running in order to warm it up and then go back inside the house. That's probably not a safe thing to do, right? It's, it's not a safe thing. It's actually pretty bad. It's called puffing. So it's okay. when it, when the exhaust shoots out and actually you, you see the puff of smoke coming out of the exhaust um, while the car's running. And when you want to warm up, you know, defrost your windshield or your windows, um, things like that. So you come out, it's nice and warm. The bad part about that is keys are in the car. Mm -hmm. The car is most likely unlocked. Yeah. Okay. And it's just e somewhat easy for someone to grab. It's like putting a $20 bill on the, on the sidewalk and expecting it to be there 20 minutes later. <laughs> it probably won't be there. Yeah. And, and the people that are out there that are, that are looking for cars to take, they're not just going for joy rides, right? Like they're, they're there and they're using your cars for other things. Yes. Most of the crimes we have, whether it's a robbery or a hit and run or um, some other form of theft, is dealing, they get the license plate, we run the license plate, and it comes back stolen. Well, that doesn't help us now. Yeah. We don't even know who belongs to the car now. Your car can be now damaged um, in the commission of a crime, and it just helps that, helps that criminal do something beyond just stealing your car. And how big of a problem is car theft here in Mesa County? Uh, in 2015-2016, we had a 35% increase in wow. auto theft, and an additional 7% increase in 2017. Okay, so just to reiterate, what can people do to, to keep their car from getting stolen and to lower that percentage? Don't be an easy victim. Yeah. Lock your car, roll your windows up, and don't leave it running when you're not inside the car. Mm. Pretty simple. Yeah, and hide your stuff. Yes. <laughs> Great. Well, where can people go for more information on this? Um, go to lockdownyourcar.org. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming today, and we'll have all that information on our web channel as well, westernsleftnow.com.